Alexis Kafusi is on the road back to basketball after being sidelined last season with cancer. True Blue's Lakia Holmes has her story. It's fall in Provo and bright flowers line the grounds of the Marriott Center. Inside, a new season of women's basketball has begun, but for Alexis Kafusi, this new season will take on greater meaning. It's just trying to get back in shape has been the hardest thing ever. I mean, doing nothing basically for seven months really to get told. After being diagnosed with stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in February, Alexis was forced to cut her sophomore season short. As her life became a series of surgeries and chemotherapy treatments, her teammates battled it out on the court and became Mountain West Conference champions. She would never be far from the team though, cheering them on from the sidelines. There she saw firsthand the impact she had on people around her, even those on opposing teams. Then we went up and played Utah and I, we come out into their court and their girls all have on purple shirts with my last name on them and I think they said battle and hope. Like, it's just amazing, not only in my team, they were amazing, so supportive, the coaches were great, but the outpour of love from other teams. Perhaps the biggest gesture came from Chad Lewis and athletic director Tom Holmo. For her birthday, they surprised her with this flag signed by the football team. Using this year's theme, Rise Up, as inspiration, the two took the flag up to the top of Mount Timbinogus to let her know that they'll rise up with her in her battle with cancer. For parents Steve and Michelle, they faced their own challenges as they helped Alexis and their four other children come to terms with what was happening, and through it all, finding strength in the gospel. Is there like a scripture or something that kind of you gravitated towards to kind of comfort you? Um, there's actually a, a whole set of scriptures and I think it's DNC 121 when Joseph Smith is asking the Lord, why me, why, where are you, why are you not helping me? And the Lord just kind of tells him to be patient, you know, and everything's going to work out for, for his own good. And you just have to trust in the Lord and just give him your hand to get through it and be directed. And that's how I feel, because this is too, this is too big for me to handle alone. You know, to have a daughter so young and diagnosed with such a horrible cancer. In eight months' time, she's gone from wondering if she'd ever be able to play the game she loves again to having workouts and practice with the team. While she's not out of the woods yet, her body is preparing for its return to the court this week. And with every minute of playing time she gets, the score will be Cancer 0, Alexis 1. Lakia Holmes, True Blue.